Okay, in the previous lesson, we've explained that in order to improve the BOP by devaluing one's currency, the ML condition must hold. This leads us quite nicely on to one of the main limitations of exchange rate policy with regard to BOP, and this is called the J-curve effect. Now, this problem arises because the PED for imports and exports are likely to be low or inelastic in the short run. Consumers take time to change their consumption patterns and preferences away from imported goods. It takes time to find domestic substitutes for these imports. Furthermore, producers have to fulfill the terms of prevailing contracts and thus might not be able to change the quantity and price of imports or exports. Now, because of the low PED for imports and exports in the very short run, the ML condition does not hold. A devaluation of a currency is likely to worsen BOP in the short term. And when illustrated on a diagram, this creates a J-like curve. Hence the name. Another limitation with exchange rate policy to, um, and using it to alter BOP is that it does not tackle the root causes of a BOP deficit. Now, one of these reasons could be a loss in comparative advantage due to less efficient practices or increasing labor costs. Altering a currency merely serves to mask these problems, which might cause them to persist, making the policy unsustainable in the long term.